In these before and after satellite images published by Human Rights Watch, the pictures highlight the areas in Mictila affected by Buddhist-led violence in March. Human Rights Watch is calling for the Burmese government to investigate the cases and find those responsible for the violence. We've seen time and time again the government reacting after the fact. Uh, damningly, in the case of Mektila, we saw the police essentially standing around uh, as rioters were attacking mosques and, and uh, Muslim communities. Uh, you know, where is the accountability? If, if the message needs to be sent very clearly by the government that if you engage in violence, if you engage in inciting violence, you'll be held accountable. And that, you know, there has to be a deterrence effect uh, to help protect the, the rights of these communities. Human Rights Watch estimates that over 800 buildings, most of them houses, were completely destroyed. And at least 35 other buildings were damaged. Areas with near total destruction were concentrated in three locations in Mictila. The larger problem is that these events are not being thoroughly investigated. Uh, they are not getting to the bottom of this situation. And part of the, the result of that is that uh, there seems to be impunity to abuse Muslims uh, in their communities. And this is why we're seeing flare-ups of violence in other places in Burma. Officially, 43 people died in the riots, which erupted on the 20th of March and included the firebombing of mosques. It spread to at least 15 other towns and villages around central Burma until President Thein Sein ordered soldiers and police to restore order. Thousands were displaced and are still living in temporary shelters.